So today I have gone and bought an Amaryllis red line variety. You can see that amazing bloom on the box there. That's apparently what uh, the flower is supposed to look like. I'll give you a bit of uh, blurb. Indoor plant, obviously, uh, easy to grow, it says. Stunning flowers, bulb size 26 to 28 centimeters. Well, we'll get that bad boy out in a minute and have to check it out. And it comes with its own pot and compost. So like the instructions have said, it comes with one bulb, there's the bulb, big old spidery looking thing, have a look at it, yeah, judge the size of it by my hands, it's quite a big one, and then the actual pots that we're going to plant it in, and a couple of these uh, cubes, I think they're coir, aren't they? These are the things that you just add water to and they expand. I'm not going to use these. I'm being different. I've got some bulb planting compost that I need to get rid of. Can you see that there? Yeah, so I've just got that much in the bottom of the bag and I'm going to use that instead. I don't see as though it's going to cause much harm to the bulb. So, uh, all right, let's get and do this. Now the instructions say, use the compost provided, but like I've already said, I'm not going to. I'm going to use that bulb planting compost. Uh, I'll just give you a bit of background information. I'm just reading it here off the box. The amaryllis originally comes from the tropical forests of South America. The large flowers with their varying nuances of color are extremely popular. <coughs> Anyhow, let me get this bulb compost in here. Do you know what? I've made a right pig's ear trying to get this planting compost into the pot with the bulb. Um, I've managed to do it. So that, for now, is the final product. Um, I place it on a saucer. I'm going to water from the bottom rather than placing the water around the bulb itself. And uh, it says then, once you've planted it up, uh, place the pot in a warm light position with gentle warmth. The bulb will quickly begin to grow after six to ten weeks, the amaryllis will bloom. <clears throat> it says, do not give much water until the growing stem appears. Well, I've kicked it off with a little bit of water. Um, I can see right there. I don't know if you guys are able to make that out. There's a little green shoot, which is just starting to appear. So I'd imagine that that's going to be the growing stem for this particular bulb. Anyhow. We'll chart its progress over the next couple of weeks and uh, see what kind of results we get. As for its growing position, I'm placing it right here next to the window and the wall at the back here, which is white. So hopefully it will get a lot of light coming in through the window and light will also reflect from the wall itself. So, yeah, like I said, Let's see what happens over the course of the next couple of weeks and hopefully we'll get a couple of big red blooms. Now then, that footage that you just watched was recorded way back in January. January the 25th was when I planted this particular bulb. And as you can see, we have flowers, people. It was well worth the wait, in my opinion. This plant has produced four flowers, dark red, took quite a while to get going as they normally do, but once they do, they soon shoot up. There you go, there's the stem and you can see a second one is emerging from the bulb 
down at the bottom. I had to stake it because obviously when the flowers are this large it gets too top heavy and it starts to lean in the pot. So there we go. If you've never grown an amaryllis bulb, I can highly recommend it.